Hi everybody! I'm back for a quick little video and update about uh, our uh, cathedral that we're doing, the Notre Dame de Perez Cathedral. And uh, yes, I've been quite busy this past little bit, so I didn't get one in last week. And hopefully this one is suffice enough for this week as um, I just decided, you know, I didn't get it on the base. And actually, here, I'll show you. Um, this is as close as I got to that. And it's uh, so one section. And we got the three portals there. And uh, then the front rose window on the facade. And then uh, we're slowly building the inside a bit. And it's a bit fragile. I did the sides, I put it all together and I put the rose window in. But though have I noticed, this is the only extra piece for the outside. So what I can say and conclude when it comes to uh, the manufacturers of this uh, 3D puzzle is that they obviously did not employ any um, contracted per, uh, experts within this field of study because uh, they would then know and, and would have realized how important um, statuary placement is in a lot of things because there should have been the Virgin statue here as well. So I see where we're gonna have some things that are left out on this cathedral build but that's fine uh, i'll note it and mention it but there definitely should be the virgin statue on here and um because there's the three portals with the tamponades and everything and uh they've got them everything i think you know to an extent there uh with some detail work there which we will look into later and maybe explain them as one of the portals in that uh front facade is actually um, an important and is is very uh, replicating of another cathedral within um, the world and uh, we'll get into that as well it's a very uh, important piece and uh, we've uh, seen stuff like that throughout uh, cathedral buildings and stuff like that where um, they can have um, other underlying tonals to it and um, that's why uh, it's very important to get experts when you are building something like this and for the amount that I paid for this um, 3d puzzle you would think that uh, they would have included some expertise in when they were building it because it is uh, an important piece to have statuary. I always say, you know, when it comes to um, say archaeology or any kind of study, even if you're just finding things in uh, books and stuff like that, and I'll be like, um, you know, if someone says, well, I found this, or an archaeologist will be like, I found this, you know, building and remnants of a building. Well, did you find what's in it? Or the same can be said when you find an object. Well, where was that object from? What's its providence? And uh, the same goes for buildings because like in cathedrals, um, as maybe we'll come to know in these segments that I do, um, that statuary placement is very important, not only for the effects that may occur due to uh, lighting with the windows and suns the sun at diff or the moon at different uh, times of the day, we will uh, be able to see that uh, effect take place in different cathedrals and uh, churches and whatever. We'll get into it all as we go down. And um, like I said, I don't want to use any grand speech as uh, a lot of things are not fully understood by uh, everybody. And uh, I figured maybe that was a, a little um, segue I can make to maybe just our first conceptual thought or term that maybe I did mention in a past video when it comes, I've done a couple of these videos and I'm sensing that possibly 
um, someone uh, or some people may be having some uh, thoughts on some term usage that I used and uh, modernization, um, evolution of termage and um, word usage is always um, fragmented from what it's originally were to be used. And uh, I always say when in doubt, uh, leave it out. If you're not sure about uh, the full meaning of anything, then just leave it out would be my uh, opinion, unless you got an expert's opinion on it. And then on top of it, what expert would you look for? I guess you would have to have a little bit of back knowledge to understand where to go or who to go to to ask for certain sort of uh, specifics. But anyways, um, I figured we'd get into that a little bit. You know, seeing that I only got that piece done. Ho the holidays is coming up and I'm going to have some time. You know, it's a period of time where I'm going to have a lot more time. That's when we'll do um, the Christmas uh, cooking and baking and uh, probably finish this off. But I've already... Uh, I won't say that it was a letdown or a failure of the manufacturer, but I already understood like a lot of things that you buy. If you have more um, detailed understanding of things, you realize that uh, things have been left out and I think statuary placement and statuary within this uh, 3D building that I'm creating of the Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral is very important and should have been added but as we can see that it is being left out so that would be a negative to the builders of this and um i'll get the name some other time um of who i but it's pro of who i bought it from but uh it, it was a it wasn't cheap it was near a hundred bucks you know it wasn't quite a hundred bucks but it was you know close to that because these 3d puzzles aren't that cheap right so um, for that amount of money for someone to be spending and if they're making a monumental piece um, such as uh, this cathedral that's going to take up a whole side table then you would want to display it I think in the manner that it was meant to be displayed as because then it's no longer the Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral in my opinion without those little details and uh, I see that they left you know they have uh, some details on uh, other parts of it but they left out some like the statuary because it is replaceable I guess and they just don't understand the concept between um, statuary placement and buildings and uh, if you find a statue you just found a statue you don't really fully understand the full picture it's like oh she's I'll take this down. This doesn't, this was something else I was doing. Um, and I'll get the other one. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a little um, harder to do this. But anyways, um, it's like this clip here is uh, one piece. That would be the statue. But then the full picture is as big as this cork board. It's like... Um, even if you just find two statues then it's like there's still a big picture you know and I mean if you find a statue and you find a building and you find the placement for it all you're getting closer to the full picture of what it was but um, one goes hand in hand most definitely and most instances is what I should say that it uh, goes hand in hand but anyways because of um, communication possibly it was a form of communication too right artistic uh, communication but uh, yeah it's uh, it's uh, it's it's um, sad that uh, they don't have uh, that statue in the front there and I'm sure there's going to be other things that we're going to find but I knew that anyways because the likelihood of them employing even on contract uh expert I mean it's one thing to have the experts within like say like I was talking about the last video of the Assassin's Creed and the such they're more of um they're making uh far more money and it's a far more investment for them so that they have that um uh, 
the pay to be able to employ an under contract expert to um, do the help with the visuals but the visuals should have been in my opinion if you wanted to bring a product to market uh, for that amount of money you know then I think it should have been had a little bit more details but anyways so I figured uh, today we would uh, go and do a little bit about maybe some terminology that I used in the past videos and as uh, and I've decided that maybe I'll take out my little cork board and do this um, for the next little bit let me just put up some of these because I've got little pieces of paper but uh, or no I'll put them up as I go that's what I'll do but that other piece of paper was for something else. So um, I'm going to use these little uh, just index cards for this one. But um, uh, the, I realized that possibly some people might not quite understand what um, I was getting at maybe. Or it's maybe I've decided, you know, if I come up with a term or some sort of addition to um, mm, to the videos to have bring out my cork board and uh, maybe go through a little bit of um, terms and word usage and uh, make some understanding so I'm sure um, most will know what this word is and uh, the concept behind this word would be laity and uh, I'm hoping you can see that I might have to bring it up closer okay there We'll put it here to the light. I don't know. Maybe you can see it. I don't, I don't want to mess around with this too much. Okay, well, um, there's laity. And uh, most people will know the concept behind that word. And uh, that would be um, the laity is... Um, like the congregation or anybody who is connected to a church, uh, a specific church um, or cathedral or wherever you're going to worship in Christian uh, faith is, uh, we'll just leave it at that for the, what the Christian faith. But then um, you, they also, um, you they use that word for that, but then it, it's also involved into other words such as um, layman or layperson and um, this is the this is the uh, word that more so than laity most people understand what the laity mean you know that it's just um, the people of that church um, that congregation sort of um, word or the people of the laity um, within that, um, I won't say dominion, but within that uh, village or, or surrounding that church or cathedral, whoever goes to that one, that would be the laity. And um, it, it'll kind of link up again, but uh, layman or layperson. In modern day, most people think that um, um, when I hear it in conversation, I my assumption that they believe that this word or these words mean um, uh, in a conversation when someone is speaking with them and they are talking to them, then they believe by saying, um, you know, uh, speak to me in layman terms or tell me that in layman terms that uh, you it's almost like a partial understanding of what it is because I believe that that uh, my assumption on what they think that that it means is that for someone to explain something in a more simple manner be uh, for them or uh, the people around or the people within the conversation but uh, when I hear that I find that it's an illogical um, phrase to be used and quite frankly absurd in uh, a conversation and most conversations of modern uh, society and uh, few conversations would it be uh, a correct usage uh, in my opinion and because when you are having a conversation with someone and you use the word um, 
in layman terms or speak to me in layman terms, then that would give um, the person you're speaking with, possibly, and uh, your audience, possibly, that are um, listening in on the conversation or that are in the conversation with you, um, that would give them the assumption, possibly, that you are making um, a suggestion that the person that you are directing this to is talking to you about uh, church matters or church topics or concepts or terms or some sort of religious matters that uh, you don't fully understand and need them spoken to you in layman terms because you are not an ordained person. Um, link of, of the church and nor are you or I mean it could go even up to anybody who is suggested to be of the church because um, a lay person is basically the most simplest way to understand it is layman means not of the church so you're not ordained or you're not at a level within the church where you would be considered of the church and have an in-depth understanding of church matters or uh, religious matters or terminology and um, the such. Like when the last week when I did a video, I was talking about how um, we would get into possibly the social structures and that, you know, um, and I simply had put it as such um, the layman come to worship. You know, this is the cathedral in the area and in the village and the laymen come to worship because that would be correct because they are of the laity and laymen or, and women, but uh, they are the laity and the layman or layperson. And um, when um, other people possibly, you know, watch or um, my video and, and you know, gladly... Um, you can, you know, whoops, that's holding that up. Okay, I won't move that. But you can um, call me, text me, um, leave a comment um, or suggestion on some sort of um, further banter or debate or argument, you know, for why my understanding is incorrect and... Um, I uh, welcome that, and I'm sure you've done all of your research for that as well. So, um, in my opinion, like I said earlier, when in doubt, leave it out, because in when that is used, in my opinion, and it's not meaning anything, I just had a sense of, of um, uh, that possibly some people, you know, when I thought about it, and uh, I've had it, what, a week or two since my last video, uh, that maybe I should have explained it a little bit more because people might not quite understand what I was trying to um, suggest. But I think it's an absurd um, usage of a term or concept within a modern day um, conversation that has absolutely no foundation or um, direction towards religious matters or concepts or thoughts or anything. Um, because that's basically all it means and it's quite simple that um, layman or layperson or in layman's terms <laughs> simply means I might have to get something to sturdy that simply means not of religious a lay a layman and layperson just basically means not of the church that's the most simplest uh, term that we can break it down to for understanding but in conversation then you it would be making a suggestion to ask someone to tell you in layman's terms you're suggesting that the person that is talking to you um, to everyone else that might be within the conversation or listening to the conversation or the person speaking to you that uh, you are suggesting that they are talking in um, 
they are ha trying to have a conversation um, that has some sort of foundation in religious uh, concepts and terms that you don't quite understand and quite possibly need uh, them to to break it down into more simpler terms for you and to layman's terms because you're not of the church and don't understand all the concepts of religious matters and that which would be of the church so um that it was basically the one thing i wanted to talk about today just so that um I'm breaking down some terminology that if anybody has any kind of questions later on about uh, any of this um, terminology, then you can go back to these little segments. And um, like I said, I'm just feeling it out. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to run every single um, video, but uh, I did, like I said, I got pretty far in my little um church oh my god that's gonna fall yeah it's not very stable until i get it i think on the platform that just sits in the windowsill so i gotta watch it but yeah there should be a statuary right there and um i don't know why they left it out but obviously that leads one to believe that they had no expert uh, opinions or suggestions for when they did this they just simply did it on whatever that they could Google and find out on it quick so no real effort was done for research of it and that's sad you know because that's a pretty penny you pay you know just a, almost a hundred bucks for this um, so but I didn't expect it to really have um, all of that Anyways, um, I knew that there would be disappointments within it. I thought it would get a little bit further when we went to look on the inside of it. But you know what? Um, we'll uh, go through it anyways, and I'll just point out anything that is missing that uh, we might uh, really need to uh, look at at a later date. So that um, was what I really wanted to talk about and break down some a terminology that I may be using that uh, because like I said I don't want this to be any kind of complex or flamboyant or grand speech that uh, most won't be able to understand I want you to be able to understand it and I mean there's other terminology that will might come down especially when we start talking about um, what might come upon when we start talking about a bit more of the social structures and once the building is done and we can get into some of those sort of conceptual thoughts. But, um, you know, and another one just off the top of my head that um, I'm thinking about, but again, it's social structure, but it's constantly, constantly used in conversation and in modern society. And it just drives me up the wall <laughs> when I uh, hear it. Sometimes it's like in layman terms, it's, I mean, it, it obviously has evolved over time, you know, so most of society only understand it in that manner, which it has morphed into, but it's not the foundation of the term or the usage. And um, to someone such as myself in conversation, then I would just blatantly, if it was a debate, I blatantly suggest that it was absurd you know, um, to be suggesting that there's any kind of religious connotations or undertow uh, and tonage within whatever conversation I have to be talking about if it had absolutely nothing to do with religious. It would be absurd. And, um, but uh, another one that maybe we'll get to when we get into the social structure and stuff like that, but we're just talking about the building itself. And now that we have found the lack there of, of uh, a statuary placement and that it seems like they um, did say that they were giving us some detailed uh, windows which is awesome you know and they've understood that that's very important 
but then they forgot about the statuary so we still have a little bit of evolution on bringing products such as this to market obviously in today's society at that price point it's not available i don't think at any price point because this is one of the better ones that i had seen so but uh there's still a lot that is not fully grasped about uh certain things in society such as terminology in my opinion um like tell it to me in layman terms or uh, speak to me in layman terms or layman or layperson or laity maybe it, you can get as bad as possibly uh, not understanding the concept of the word laity but uh, another one that we'll probably possibly get into because the time period is more medieval time period and another one that's constantly um, misunderstood and it goes more along uh, the social structure of the societies that uh, uh, were within and around and engulfed these grand monumental statues, statues, monumental structures with monumental statues within it and outside of it. But um, is, uh, you know, it, it obviously is more of a feudal society and stuff like that. So we we're not going to talk about it right now, but the whole sense of um, chivalry, you know, that's another term and concept that is constantly misrepresented in conversations over and over and over again in modern society. But like I said, um, today we won't get into that because we're not really talking about a feudal society at the moment. We're still just into the building of uh, the Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral. And because we've stumbled upon this terminology of layman or layperson or laity, I figured that I would do this little side um, video and go to more in depth and show you the progress that I've done. And it is quite a lot because when you think about everything that I've done within it, um, I did do a lot. You know, we've got the floors there. We've got the opening of doors in the portals. You know, these little doors open and close here. And we can see the rose window in there with the portal doors that open and they shut and uh it's quite pretty you see the other windows that we've put in we're getting some closure into the sides of it and uh it's coming along and there's the front facade rose window and unfortunately there's no virgin statue and uh we'll get into some other details if we can see any of those around the portals and uh that's the front of it. We're almost there. And then soon we'll put it on the platform. I think the next is that I'm going to be building it up this way a little bit or getting it ready to be built up this way. I think this is not going to be closed. This is going to be open, I think. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I think so. I don't think that's going to be closed. I know I should stop bending it like that. I think it's not. I think it's going to not close. But um, anyways, we'll get there. And uh, it's starting to look really nice. I got to stop bending it. <laughs> I don't want to fully bend it so that I have to tape it or something like that later. Anyways, we're getting there. But yeah, the statuary is missing. And I don't think it was a big concern when they were building this. But uh, anyways, we will come back. And I'm almost at a half an hour. So I think that's enough. And I think we did some terminology. And maybe found another avenue to uh, go into. And I'm trying to think, did I want to talk about anything else that I thought about? But uh, no, I just thought I'd clear up a little bit maybe of terminology and word usage and a little bit of a update of uh, the structure and 
we're getting there. And like I said, holidays are coming up. I'm going to have more time off and have, be, have, have a little bit more time to do more. So anyways, we will see you then on the next video. I hope you have a wonderful week. And um, well, tis the season. Um, we are in holiday season, basically. We're right at the end of November. This will probably be the last November video. And uh, it'll be just tis the season because it is Christmas time. And uh, I will talk to you, I guess, uh, at a later date. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and week ahead. And hopefully I get another one in by the end of the week. Probably by the end of the weekend next week. We'll see. Like I said, more time I will have as the weeks go on and we get closer and closer to, to uh, Christmas. Everybody will have some time off to do stuff. And uh, I will... Uh, See you guys then on the next, till the next video. It was uh, awesome to speak with you guys and uh, we will talk to you then. I hope you enjoyed this video and take care. Bye-bye.